Peace, peace, peace. This is your international sales and marketing hitman villain, your humble hip hop sales coach, Tiger Toledo. And you already know what it is, man. You rock it with the best. You heard? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for another episode of the Tiger Toledo podcast. If you guys have not registered for my Google business training session, how to get more leads and qualify prospects for your business for free on Google, you need to register. I am going to drop that link for you in the comments section now. Shout out to everybody tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. You guys could be anywhere around the world, but you're rocking with your boy. Uh huh. So shout out to you guys. Um, we got to have a really, really good show today. I'm going to talk to you guys about the four top benefits of hiring somebody that has a side hustle. Side hustles in the 21st century is very critical for you to expand your organization. And I will explain to you why that's important and why it will benefit you if you're ever looking to employ somebody or maybe you just want to subcontract the person into your organization for a short period of time. If that person has a side hustle, not a side idea, I'm talking about a legitimate side hustle you have a gem in your hands. So I'll give you a quick story of what happened to me. Um, when I was working for a window manufacturing company, um, one of the top window manufacturing companies here in Illinois, and they were a wholesaler, right? Now, with this company, I'd made more money than I've ever made in my life. This was where I was seeing you know, 15, 20, 20 K a month. And I was like, holy shit. When I was seeing the checks, I didn't know what to do with myself and shit. Like most Negroes, nigga, I went on a shopping spree, <laughs> you know, so I was, I was buying up shit, cars, whatever. Um, but I also had a side hustle. I wanted to pursue my record label. I wanted to push my record label at the time. So I had a record label, right? And I'm doing, I'm doing real good with the company. I'm a subcontractor. Uh, so basically I'm not a W2, I'm a 1099. So I basically can make my own hours and shit like that. Right. And the owner of the company found out that I also had a side hustle. So one day he called me, I, I remember it distinctively. I was walking to my apartment at the time and he said, uh, Hey, Tiger, you got another business going on? And I was like, yeah, I got my record label. It, it didn't interfere with the window business whatsoever, right? And he was like, hey, from now on, I don't want to hear no more about this record label. You having another side business, side gig, anything like that. You're either going to work with this company or you're not going to work at all. And again, I distinctively remember I was walking down the street on Ashland. I was living uh, 2625 North Ashland on the north side. And I'm walking down the street. And I remember he told me this. And I looked at the phone and I said, is this guy telling me that I can't pursue my dreams? Like my dreams is not to sell windows for the rest of my life. So I looked back at the phone. And I told him, I'll make it easy for you. I quit. And I quit right there on the spot. Now, mind you, again, I was making the most money I've ever made in my life. It was a six. I was making six figures at the company. I, you know, like it could look at something real stupid that day, hey, dude, that was real stupid and somewhat it was right. But I know what I wanted in life. And I knew with my skills in sales that I, you know, I can make it out here regardless. I might not make as much money as I was with that company, but heck, you're not going to stomp and, and tap dance all on my fucking dreams and then just be like, hey, come back to me. So I quit. So I wound up getting another gig or whatever like that. 
um, about two, three months later, he winds up calling me back and says, Hey, you know what? Come back. You know, he apologized and shit like that. So I went back to the company and we, you know, we worked for another five, six years after that made a shitload of money together. What I, what I wanted to express to you was this is that many times when he had meetings, I brung certain type of insight, certain system, certain uh, marketing uh, implementations, systems and processes that he would have never thought of because these are things that I was practicing in my record label. So when I say hiring a person with a side hustle can be very beneficial to your business, he benefited from that. He benefited from me working on my side hustle, bringing some of these tangible ideas uh, to his meetings, and he was able to roll it out and also see a profit boost. So here we go. Let's go into the four benefits of hiring someone with a side hustle. And that, and to this day, even with my notary company, I strongly always encourage my notaries and people that I do ventures with, joint ventures with, partner up with, I always encourage their side hustles. If they tell me that they have a side hustle, I say, great. That is part of our company culture. We want you to have a side hustle. Our, our, our company culture is like, one, we don't BS each other. Two, we embrace and encourage a side hustle because it makes you happier. So here go the four benefits, right? Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. Okay, so the four benefits of having or partnering up with someone that has a side hustle. And keep this in mind. To this day, a lot of companies do not want you to have side hustles. I know for a fact, banks definitely don't want you to have any type of side hustle or anything like that. All of that is going to change. That landscape is going to change dramatically over the next few years. I guarantee it. I guarantee that. You can't stop a person from pursuing their dreams. I don't care how much you're paying them, what the medical benefits are, what their profit sharing is. If that, if their heart and soul is not into your organization, they're going to pursue something else and you cannot stop that. So you might as well start embracing that now in your company culture, because it will, it will help you retain that employee or, or partner much, much longer. So let's go into it. The first one is they bring an external insight of systems that work. They bring an external insight of systems that work, meaning they're practicing different styles, different marketing tactics, different sales uh, tactics in their personal business. Some things work, some things don't. When you have these meetings, these monthly meetings or weekly meetings, however you guys do, quarterly meetings, they bring these ideas. They say, hey, you know what? I've been doing this, experimenting this with my company. Maybe it might work for your company. And if it falls in line and you give it and you do your testing with it, it may give you that edge to actually increase customer engagement, increase brand loyalty, increase uh, sales, revenue, uh, recruiting you never know because they bring an insight like like for me for my business because i'm in marketing a lot i look at every business it doesn't matter if it's starbucks home depot ace hardware um a mom and pop store a, a cookie shop i look at everything as potential to help me with my marketing so now if i have three other people that have side gigs side hustles and we have a monthly meeting, we all sit at the table and be like, hey, how can we boom this business, right? Not only am I bringing insight from my perspective into the circle that can help that employee boost his business up, but at the same time, they're doing the same thing, vice versa. Everyone benefits, companies grow. 
The second thing, people with side hustles are very creative, very creative, meaning when you're creative like that, you have a knack for solving problems. You have a knack for solving problems. Creativity breathes problem solving. So if something's not working, you like, let's just say you're trying to put a triangle in a circle, right? A creative person to say, you know what? This triangle is not fitting in the circle. How about I just shave the damn corners off? The creativity side of it, of that person tells them to shave the corner instead of like, oh, well, let me just move on. There's nothing I could do about this. The triangle is not fitting in the circle. No, hell no. Let me just shave all the corners off and then I'll put the, you know, now I made a circle to go into the circle. That is the benefit of having a person that has a side hustle. They bring a level of creativity to your organization, which is huge. The next one is you build a harmonious work environment. Now, when the person knows that they don't have to tippy toe in your organization because they have a side hustle, they're more inclined to be more helpful, to be more jovial, to be, uh, you know, spontaneous and work, or work longer hours, maybe, or just be more helpful in the organization, period, because they're not tippy toeing. They're not tippy toeing. They're helping out your organization and they know that this organization values me and my creativity and my side hustle, my company too. So why the heck would I not want it to succeed? It's when you start chopping off their legs and say, no, you can't have this. No, you can't do that. No, Come on, man. Nobody going for that shit no more. Nobody going for that shit no more. People making six, seven, eight figures online. People making more money on Amazon than people making at a real physical brick and mortar job. You can't tell these people this shit no more. And these millennials, salute to all my millennials out there. Y'all, y'all kicking ass, man. I know a lot of people discount you guys, at, you know, at, and the same thing they did with us, Generation Xers. They they called us Generation X because we were unknown. They didn't know what the fuck was going to happen with our generation. They didn't know if we were going left, right, up or down. So that's why they coined us Generation X, because the X stand for unknown. They didn't know where we were going to take this economy, where we were going to take the United States. Now they see. Now they see. So the last and final one is you get to retain that person in your organization much, much longer. Like I go back to the story. I worked, I worked at the window manufacturing company and this was within my first year and a half. The owner said, no, you can't be in this. Uh, you can't have a side hustle. I told him go fuck himself. Right? So I left a six figure business to pursue my own dreams. A couple of, Months later, he calls me back and say, hey, come back. I apologize. And then we wind up working for another five to six years. Now, of course, he wasn't going to retain me forever, but he was able to accommodate me and my side hustles. And we were able to work together for another five to six years. Now, if you're shooting down your employee, your joint venture uh, partner or whatever dreams down, they're not going to stay in your organization very long at all. That means you just lost all other benefits that come along with that. Because you're ego tripping. So peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. I hope you guys found uh, value in this podcast today. If you figure business in eight months. So I want to share that with you guys. And I hope you guys are able to. I left it in the comment section. Join me for that. Also. We got double up coming up. If you guys have a nonprofit business or I have the beautiful Ina Jones joining me on the double up podcast show, she is going to teach you guys on how to run a successful business, how to effectively get, how to effectively get crowdfunding and how to run a successful nonprofit business. She's doing 
amazing things. So tune in next Thursday on Facebook Live for the Double Up Show. Special guest, Ina Jones. Peace, love, and happiness to all you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. You heard?